What's going on YouTube? Going to do a little video today on the basic field strip and cleaning of the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9mm. Um, so we'll start. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do, make sure the gun is unloaded. Drop the magazine with that button. Take one out of the chamber. My everyday carry. Uh, you now have a clear gun. If you carry one with the, uh, in the chamber, make sure the chamber is clear. Now what you're going to want to do, you'll safety check the weapon. You will rack the slide back and lock it back with the slide lock here. So you rack it back, lock the slide back. This is the takedown lever. What you're going to do is rotate the take, takedown lever straight down. Unlock the slide. Pull the trigger. And that slide is going to slide right off. Now you have your lower and your slide. Remove the spring. And the barrel, the barrel just pull forward a little bit and then pull right out. Now you have your slide, your barrel, and your spring. Um, I'm a Q-tip guy. When I clean, I use Q-tips. They work really good and they're always plentiful. I also have two separate little cheapo uh, kits that I sort of... Use a little bit out of one and a little bit out of the other, and uh, I get the job done. So, I'll just put these on the side for a second, open them up. That's why I got what I need when I want to use it. Um, also, uh, it's a good idea to get a set of these brushes. These uh, detailed brushes, uh, one steel, one brass, one nylon. I like using the nylon because I don't want to put brass or steel on my gun. So the nylon is, you know, no scratch. It's a, it's a no-brainer. You're not going to scratch. Actually, I have one here that I've been using, so I'm not going to open up the brand new pack. But you can get these at the dollar store, Harbor Freight, Walmart, wherever, for like a dollar, dollar fifty. Anyway, I'm just going to use the one I always use. And um, I also use Ballastol. Um, it's a good cleaner and um, oil. You can also use CLP, which is basically the same thing. Um, Ballastol stinks, though. Let me tell you something. Ballastol stinks. Anyway, I will be using it. And I'm just going to right now, first thing, just spray the inside of the barrel. Let it clean out a little bit. And I'll use a little Hoppy's 9 um, cleaner. I'm not going to use the Ballastol because it stinks too bad. What I do is I just pour some in the uh, cap here. This is the Hoppy's uh, cleaner. And take a Q-tip. Wet it down a little bit. I'll start just going through the obvious places inside the slide here. You can see how dirty it is. Turn the Q-tip around. And just clean everywhere inside the slide here. I'm going to clean it good. Get out any... Right, Always renewable, these Q-tips. Just basically clean everywhere inside the slide. When your Q-tip end gets dirty, just turn it over and use them as much as you want. I don't really worry about any cotton 
from the Q-tip getting in there because once you wet it down with the cleaner, it's, you know, not really uh, hairy or stringy, whatever you want to call it anymore, once it gets wet. So clean up everything in there. I'm not going to do the greatest job right now. I'm just going to go through the basic, you know, the basics of it. So you get the, the gist. It's not rocket science. It's just basic, you know, cleaning. Anyway, I'll call that done. Um, I'll take my barrel that I soaked in ballastol. And I will use a 9mm sized barrel brush. I'll just run it through once or twice just to loosen up anything that the ballastol uh, loosened. And then I will use the boar snake. The boar snake is really good. Um, this one boar snake you can use on 380, 9mm, 38s, or 357s. So it's, uh, you know, there are certain ones that are sort of one size fits all. You know, like the uh, 223, 556, that'll also clean a 22. But either way, the boar snake is nice. It has a weighted end uh, on one end, and it has a uh, nice brass brushes here, bristles, and a cloth. And you just pull it right through the barrel. It'll bristle it and clean it out with the cloth. So just drop the uh, weighted end down through your barrel. Pull it through. Just pull it right through the barrel. Very simple. Usually I'll do it twice. If I'm feeling extra funny, I'll do it three times. Just because nobody's looking. And then I will... Where are my patches? I'll grab a couple of patches here. Like I said, I got two cheap-ass uh, 9mm kits here. And um, it works out good because... Um, you know, you might want a certain oil, you know, uh, and it's just nice to have. So I'll take my little brass brush off here. I'll get the, uh, the patch end. Screw it on there. I'll take a clean, dry patch. Get it in there, and also run that through the barrel a couple of times to dry it out, clean it out. It is slightly dirty there. And it's a little dirty, so I'll do one more. Make sure it's clean and dry. And I'll put that on the side. The um, spring, I'm going to use a little CLP on. That'll clean it and oil it. I'll let that soak in for a minute. And I'll wipe it down with a cloth. You should have a, any kind of cloth, you know, an old, you know, whatever kind of cloth. Um, and then I will take the Q-tips again, get them wet, and the same thing we did on the slide, we can do right inside the polymer lower. Just get it, you know, see, nice and dirty. I was out shooting it the other day at the range, and I haven't cleaned it, so I figured I'd uh, make a little video. 
because it definitely needs a cleaning. I carry this thing with me every day and just, you know, it gets dirty. You know, when you carry it every day, it's, it gets dirty, you get a little fuzz from your pants, whatever. So you want to maintain it, you want to keep it, you know, as clean as, and functional as possible. Um, I try to clean it at least once a week. You know, come the weekend, Saturday morning, Sunday morning, whatever. Take a few minutes. You know, give it a quick little cleaning job. And you won't have to worry. Just, you know, get everywhere. call that good too for now just for the purposes of this video if I'm actually cleaning it on my own I'm gonna take my time you know and uh, do it right you know or do a better job anyway and I'll take a dry patch just dry it off a little bit you know you don't want that cleaner in there staying dry it out with a clean patch Take a dry Q-tip, you know, dry it up a little bit, get all that cleaner off. Like I said, it's not, you know, rocket science, it's simple. And just by taking a few minutes, once or twice a week, you'll make sure that your gun is always going to be there for you. Anyway... We'll call that done with the cleaning. I'm going to pour my little Hoppies 9 back in there. And I will get the... I'm going to use the oil today. I'm not going to use the uh, ballast oil CLP. I'm using that a little more on uh, the rifle than the handguns. Um, I didn't use my nylon brush, but what the hell. Saturday's coming. So what I'll do is I'll get a little, you don't want to over oil these things. You just want to get a, a thin coat on um, parts that are showing wear, you know, inside the rail. You know, you want to get a little bit, you know, on all these metal parts showing here. Um, any metal to metal contact, you know, anything that you think is going to be contacting each other, it doesn't hurt to put a light coat of oil. So I just... I just wet the tip of the Q-tip. I got a little right on there because that's definitely a wear point. I'll get a little here. I'll get a little inside the rails. You know, I'm not uh, chintzy with it, but I'm not going crazy with it either. Hey. Just, you know, get a nice little coating. I even go around the inside of the little barrel hole there. Oil up another Q-tip. And I'll get the inside. I'll go right along any metal surfaces right here. I'm definitely going to get these ends because there's visible wear. And I'm also going to get up here. You know, definitely anything you see with visible, you know, wear points where you know, you know it's metal on metal. Just give a light coating to. All right. So I'm going to wrap it up. I'm not going to keep you too long. Um, also, you want to oil the barrel, not the inside of the barrel. The back of the outside here, right around here. And up on here. 
That'll help because that, that barrel moves. Anyway, to put the gun back together, you take your barrel the same way you took it out, stick it in, click it back, get your spring back in, and reassemble the gun. Those two notches are going to go right along those two rails, pull it straight back, and lock it back again. Release your takedown lever, release your slide lock, and you should be back in business. Um, if you carry one with one, if you carry your gun with, with one in the chamber, what I'll normally do is I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take a bullet and just stick it in the barrel, then close it and put my magazine in. Um, I'm gonna insert the magazine. I'm gonna rack it back. There's one in the chamber now. I'm gonna use my manual safety. I have this manual safety model on this. Um, it also comes without the manual safety. I just prefer the manual safety. Anyway, I did when I bought the gun. And then I'll drop the magazine, take the bullet I had in the chamber before, and I'll put it back in the magazine, then reinsert the magazine. I'm now cleaned and ready to go. That's your basic field strip and cleaning on the shield. And you can also wipe it down a little bit. Get any of that excess off. Um, I think the next video I'm going to make is going to be for the, uh, I'll show you how to infill it. The infill looks really cool. Um, white on black, red on black, green on black, whatever you like. It's a very simple process, and I'll probably make that my next video. Anyway, uh, oh, by the way, give a like, give a subscribe, uh, whatever, you know, I'd appreciate it. I'm, I'm doing the work here. I got several videos in the past week. I'm, I'm not slacking, so, you know, give me, give, me a, give me a like at least. Give me a dislike, whatever. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one.